Hey everyone, it's Charlie. So a very common question I get is, what is the difference between LLCs and S-Corps? And if you are a business owner or you're an aspiring business owner, it's extremely important that you understand the differences between these two things. So in this video, we're gonna go over all the differences. I'll give you guys some really helpful resources down below in the description. And yeah, let's get started. So the main difference between LLCs and S-Corps is that an LLC is a business structure and S-Corp is a tax classification. The two tie in with one another because after you form your business as an LLC, you can actually then file to get it taxed as an S Corp, which we will get more into as we go through these slides. So what is an LLC? An LLC is a hybrid business entity that combines the benefits of a sole proprietorship as well as a corporation. They provide the benefit of pass-through taxation for a business, which allows owners to avoid double taxation and just pay income taxes once on the personal tax returns. As with anything, there are pros and cons to starting an LLC. First, let's start with the advantages. LLCs offer flexibility in management and ownership by having no restrictions on the number and types of owners that they're allowed to have, giving more power to the owners of the LLC to decide how their business is run. They also have less formalities and paperwork requirements than corporations. They're not subject to double taxation and they split up financial interests, which means profits are split among the members at the end of each fiscal year. Now, some of the cons that come with running an LLC are that they're subject to self-employment taxes, meaning owners must pay an additional 15.3% tax that is applied to 95.35% of their net earnings at the end of each year. So now what is an S-Corp? An S-Corp is considered a tax status rather than a business entity. Both LLCs and corporations have the ability to be taxed as an S-Corp, which can save owners a ton of money on their taxes, but that does depend on your income level. Some of the advantages of S-Corps is that they offer limited liability protection in the case of lawsuits or fines against the business, just like LLCs. They offer additional tax benefits for shareholders like tax-free dividends, limited liability protection for shareholders, and they have a much more flexible ownership structure than LLCs because there is a board of directors rather than owners running a company. Now, some disadvantages that come with running an S-Corp are that there are more formalities and paperwork requirements compared to an LLC. And considering the fact that making a mistake could lose you your S-Corp status, you'll definitely want to conduct proper research to make sure that you can keep up with the extra formalities and paperwork that comes with running an S-Corp. Also, the cost to form an S-Corp is more than what it costs to incorporate an LLC. And we'll dive more into that later on this video. Now let's get into some of the main differences between LLCs and S-Corps. The top six differences are taxes, management structure, stocks and shareholders, employment of owner, startup cost, and formation. Taxes are the most important concept to factor in when comparing LLCs to S-Corps. When it comes to LLCs, they have the option of being taxed as a disregarded entity or as a partnership, depending on if it is a one-member LLC or a multi-member LLC. One-member LLCs taxes that are owed by their business are paid as part of their income tax return, while multi-member LLCs have their profits and losses passed through to the individual members or owners who are then taxed on them. LLCs are subject to a 15.3% self-employment tax as well as a personal income tax. The way to find out how much you will owe at the end of the year is by taking the LLC's gross profits and subtracting the expenses and deductions to get the net profit, which is then the number that you'll be taxed on. Unfortunately, with LLCs, you're gonna be paying that 15.3% self-employment tax on your entire net income. I'd say that once you're making between 40 to $50,000 in net profit, then it may make sense to either form an S-Corp directly or to actually use an LLC with an S-Corp tax status. I'd say that for most businesses, this is going to be the ideal uh, method just because it avoids that self-employment tax on part of the income. And yeah, that can save a lot of money. Now, one con of having an LLC with an S-Corp tax status is that it can be unfavorable for uh, non-active members or business investors. LLCs with an S-Corp tax selection allows owners to pay out a reasonable salary. This allows the owners to distribute the profits and losses in more ways, including through wages or salaries and the rest through distributions, which are not subject to self-employment tax. So recap of the section, because it's very, very important. If you are an LLC and you're making under 40 to $50,000 in net profit per year, then it might just make sense to you know, keep your LLC status and not go through with you know electing as an escort. It costs more money to do that. You have to deal with payroll and you won't save enough money by doing this to actually have it make sense. If your net profit is higher than 40 or $50,000, then it should make sense for you to do this because with an escort, you'll basically be paying yourself a reasonable salary, which is typically around one third of the net income. But of course that depends on how much money you're making. And then the rest is gonna be paid out as distributions. And those distributions, you guys avoid that 15.3% self-employment tax. 
So if you do the math, you can save a lot of money. This is gonna be the main difference for most people. And yeah, it makes sense because saving money is usually the biggest priority. Now, management structure is another big component when comparing S-Corps and LLCs. The major difference is that S-Corps are managed by a board of directors and it's organized as a traditional corporation with shareholders, directors, and officers. This is cool because it allows for the business to essentially run itself without the owners having to be too involved in the everyday activities. Contrary to S-Corps, LLCs are managed by the owners or members of the business and there's no need to hold board meetings. So this really comes down to personal preference of the owner in a lot of cases, whether they prefer to have more of a removed approach to running the business or more of a hands-on approach. Or you might not care about this at all, it's just a little bit more paperwork and the tax savings are just gonna be more important than all these things we're talking about. Now, when it comes to stocks and shareholders, S-Corps issue common stock to their shareholders while LLCs have no shareholders or stock for their business. When it comes to S-Corps, owners must take a salary as an employee, like we mentioned earlier, and this is what allows for them to avoid self-employment taxes on the full net income and just pay those self-employment taxes on their personal W-2 income. For LLCs, owners have the option of participating in the management of their organization or not. So now let me just run through another example of a situation where it'll make sense for you to you know, form an S-Corp or LLC elected as an S-Corp versus just having an LLC. Let's say your business makes $100,000 in net income in one year. With just a normal LLC, you're gonna be paying that FICA 15.3% self-employment tax on that whole $100,000, as well as your federal and state income taxes. That, you guys, is a lot of money. Now, if you have an S-Corp or an LLC elected as an S-Corp, you're gonna pay yourself a reasonable salary and you're gonna work with your accountant to uh, figure out a number that makes sense, but usually it should be around a third of the net income. So in the case of an S-Corp, you are actually gonna be an employee of your own business and you're gonna make a W-2 salary, right? So of that $100,000 profit, let's say you decide to pay yourself a reasonable wage Wage of $35,000 on a W-2. That $35,000 will be subject to that self-employment tax as well as your state and federal taxes, but the remaining $65,000 that's gonna be counted as a distribution. And you can literally just take that money and transfer it over to your personal account. And on that 65K, you don't need to pay that 15.3% tax. So I don't know the exact math, but in this case, you're saving about nine, $10,000. And that's why for any business making over 40 to $50,000 in net profit, it will make sense to move on over to an S-Corp or to elect as an S-Corp for your tax status. At that level, it just makes sense because the additional cost of you know handling payroll and all that stuff is going to be offset by the tax savings. Now, the cost of starting an LLC and an S-Corp varies a lot by state. However, you can expect starting an LLC to cost you anywhere in the ballpark of around $50 uh, to $500, and S-Corp to cost anywhere from $100 to $250. However, the upkeep for an S-Corp is going to be more expensive just due to payroll and additional forms. Now let's talk about how you can actually form an LLC and get it taxed as an S-Corp. This is a two-step process, okay? So you must first form an LLC before getting it taxed as an S-Corp. So I recommend using something like Inkfile. I use Inkfile to set up all my LLCs and S-Corps. And I'm gonna put a link to a video below that I made taking you guys through the exact steps you need to take. They may also be able to elect S-Corp status for you as you're actually making the LLC. But if not, you'll need to follow the following steps. So in order to get your LLC tax as an S-Corp, you'll need to file Form 2553, election by a small business corporation from the IRS. To qualify, your company must be a domestic corporation, have only allowable shareholders, meaning they are individuals, certain trusts, and estates. However, they can't be partnerships, corporations, or non-resident alien shareholders. Your company must also have no more than 100 shareholders, must have only one class of stock, and it can't be on the list of ineligible corporations such as insurance companies, certain financial institutions, and domestic international sales corporations. It's just basically gonna be the same thing as you know creating an S-Corp at the start. Once you follow those steps, your LLC is going to be treated the exact same tax-wise as an S-Corp. And if you know you're gonna make over 40, $50,000 in net profit your first year, then it may make sense just to go ahead and create an S-Corp from the beginning. And I'll also leave a link down below to a video I made uh, showing you guys the exact steps on how you can set up an S-Corp. So yeah, those are the differences between an LLC and an S-Corp. I hope you guys got some value out of this video and if you did make sure to share it with a friend and also like and subscribe for more content just like this this whole channel is dedicated to giving you guys free information about starting your own business so with that thank you so much for your time and i'll see you in the next video